Hey guys, how's it going? So this is the March garden tour. I've done three garden tour videos. One was a backyard and a front yard garden tour in two videos. So I've done a total of two garden tours. I started my channel, like I made my channel, like I created it, posted my first video in October. So that wasn't that long ago, but a lot of stuff has changed since the last garden tour, which was exactly like a month and a three days ago. Like literally the full bed has changed in the front yard. I'm actually starting in my vegetable garden today. And then, yeah. The first thing I want to show is this bed, which the last garden tour had nothing in it. So, so first, this is cilantro. We pl I planted it. Um, we pl we use it in our guacamole. Like as you can see, there's tons of cut parts. And here is the this my the favorite thing I'm growing right now. Like favorite edible strawberries. Look at that, almost ripe. I love strawberries. They're really sweet. And look at their flowers. If you look in the middle, like right here, you can see that little strawberry. And then I got some marigolds in like a row crop style, some violas, a zinnia. I started from seed over there. Some cilantro I started from seed, and then marigold I started from seed. And then a big snapdragon plant. When I got it, it was kind of small. And then I got some carrot seedlings that I started from seed. Well, I wouldn't buy them if they were just that small, but. And then I got viola, petunia, here's a jalapeno plant, red bell pepper, red bell pepper, and look at that, red bell pepper, that's almost ready. If you look on the underside, I don't know if you can see it that well, but it's starting to turn red. And we got more snapdragons, and I'm just going to go over here. We just got a big rainstorm yesterday, like crazy. I don't know if you guys got that. I live in California, so most of you guys, it was probably snow, but I got a lot of rain. So here's some marigold seedlings. And I learned my lesson, don't don't ever use these jiffy things, because they literally, they last like barely at all. Like they only last like a month. Like see, you can easily peel this. Like with my pinky, I can peel it. Like that's crazy, I can look. Or if you squish it, I can squish through it. Like. You shouldn't waste your money on those instead of like getting one of these or something or like these so here is marigolds that I transplanted from here i got some cilantro and all the stuff over there i started from seed i started here and i transplanted it so you got some cilantro i started all the stuff on this table i started from seed and then the um, spinach and then i got like tons of like this annual cut flower mixture Got some dahlia as I see this is seated in the video. I got some spinach, it's almost ready for harvest. And by the way, I'm really excited because I harvested my carrots a couple minutes ago. I'll go show you guys what they look like at the end of the tour. I got some petunias grown really big. I got the jalapeno plant. I take it back with these these two plants. I, I didn't start from seed because you can't start a second one from seed. But I'll just go to the front yard. Actually, I'll show you the carrots first. Pretty nice, they're really small. They're kind of like baby carrots. The variety is Davers 126 from from Barry Morse or Burpee, I don't know. This one's bigger than this one, but. The variety of that is it's called Davers 126. It doesn't grow that big, but this season, I started these seeds on December 2nd. I probably told you that a lot. But this season, I'm going to grow these big ones, like the big, big ones that like can't even go in this pot. I like, have to go in like one of these, like the long ones, the ones like you see, not not like at the like the ones at the store, like at the farmers market that are huge. So I'm just gonna go to my front yard and then I'll show you what's up there. There's a lot of new stuff. This is the Cape honeysuckle. It produces these like trumpet like blooms. So this bed right here is remodeled actually. It used to be a wood raised bed that was smaller. So all these plants are new, except these ones. So we got a blue hydrangea right here. This variety starts with an R and has like an H in it or something, but I don't know how to pronounce it. But these are primroses. Another one, this one got stepped on it looks like. My dog, my golden crew puppy probably is a curl print for that. But here is the bloom starting to come up with the hydrangea and this is a pink one. Look at these big leaves, it's crazy. And then here is a jade succulent that just was in bloom. Here's another jade succulent. And so this bag was in the tour last time, but a lot of stuff has like literally grown huge. I remember 
you look at this sunflower plant, I started this from seed in my seed starting station, and I transplanted it for you in a video a long time ago, and there it was this tall when I transplanted it, and it's taken off. Look at that bud. I don't know if you can see it that well, but that's crazy. I'm super excited for these to bloom. Then we got a Dusty Miller. We got some Marigolds. And this one's a different variety. This one's called the Burpees. It's called Busy Bee Sunflower. And this one's called Dwarf Teddy Bear. And then there's some more Marigolds, Primroses, Pansies that have completely taken off. Like, they've grown so much. Dianthus Cut Flower Red. Dianthus Cut Flower White. And I got some Tulips and Violas in the container. I got some leftover daffodils from the spring. Well, it's, it's, it's probably, it's spring here and they bloomed already. So I'm just going to let them overwinter for the next year. And then I got another sunflower. And here's the avocado tree, which is putting on some flowers. Like, look at that. And the flowers are starting to bloom. Like, see this? That's cool. I'll see what I can do. I don't really, I'm not experienced in avocado trees, but I hope we can get some avocados. Oh, look, see? That flower's in bloom. And I got some roses, which are diseased. And the disease is called rust. Look at that. That's, that's the 100% definition of it. Like, that's crazy. Look at that. And then, soon that happens, and then the leaves start to turn like this. Like, they die off. Anyway, thank you guys so much wa for watching this tour. There will be a lot more videos coming soon. Thank you guys so much for the 150 subscribers. It really means a lot to me. When I started my channel about four months ago, I had no clue I'd get this many. Like, 155 right now in like this short of time. I thought it would, I would get it in like three years. But so thank you guys so much for all your support. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, comment below. And I read all of those comments, by the way. I really like them. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.